Okay guys, I just installed Ubuntu Phone OS again. Um, I took God out of it because none of the radios are functioning, but I'm going to be making a video about it right now so that you all can see. This is actually my Sprint Galaxy Nexus running it. And yeah, it it's bootable. Uh, the radios do not work, but it's bootable. And that's what counts. So it's basically just going to sit here for a while. Um, I can't remember the developer name, but he ported this to our Toro the, and the Toro Plus, which is the Sprint version. And then it's taking its sweet time. My bad. There does something. Come on. The back's getting pretty hot. Up. Oh. There we go. Ubuntu Phone OS. Now it's whoops. Okay, it crashed. That's pretty sad. But this is a developer preview. It's not official or anything. This is completely just completely unofficial developer preview. It's not meant for a release or anything. I just wanted to show you that I have it up and running. And yeah, so let me connect to Wi-Fi. All right, let me do that. Okay, connecting to Wi-Fi. There you go, connected. So, let us begin by turning down the brightness, if I can. Okay, on my brightness. There you go. There's no brightness works. Okay, so this is your home. This is your basic home screen. This is the middle home screen, actually. This gives you a little feed of everything. So you swipe to the right. You get all your apps, your installed apps, your available for download apps, which they do nothing, absolutely nothing right now. And just about all these apps, clicking them will bring you to the browser and bring you to their mobile page like Gmail, uh, Facebook will do that, Twitter will do that, stuff like that. So yeah, and then swipe over one more time, this is your videos. I don't know if any of them will play or not, but as you can see, there's the store right there. What does that say? Play it. Soiled it? No. But yeah, and then swipe back over to home. And then swipe one more time. This is people. These are all generic people contacts. They are not my contacts. They're just generic ones put there by Ubuntu. And then the music app. Or music hub, basically. And that's your home. And you can see you can swipe back and forth between them quickly. And yeah. So now let's talk about the dock bar. So if you swipe from this side, brings up the dock bar, and you can go home straight from the dock bar, or you can go up to video player. I don't have any videos, but yeah, it's basically just a screenshot. That's really all it is useful right now. Most of these apps, all they are, are just screenshots, to be quite honest. Um, like, if we go over to, and as you can see, that's my recent app, and if I swipe from the left edge, or right edge, it brings me back to that application. And if you swipe all the way, if you swipe from the right edge, or, uh, swipe from the left edge all the way over, it brings you back home instantaneously. So, as you see, the music application is literally just a screenshot, can't do anything, does nothing. But I can swipe 
from the right edge back to that, and then back to music. Back to the video player, back to music. Then I can swipe all the way from this edge, go back home. So most of these applications are completely just either a web browser or a screenshot. Now we can't use the video or the dialer, but I can type in random numbers and it'll type, but it won't call because the radios aren't working. Isn't that great? And that's a demo number. So then you swipe over, gives you your conversation. Swipe again. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's go back. Okay. Then contacts, and that's it. Swipe from the bottom up will bring this menu, which you can search or say a command. Brings up three recent apps plus other stuff. And your current app, then you can press that X. And it should kill the app. There it goes. Kill the app. And then let's take a look at the web browser. See how this thing has a pretty... Yeah, there you go. Web browser started up. I just got a text message. Alright, so... Zoom, pinch to zoom, pretty responsive. I'm not going to lie, it's a little laggy. Um, I mean, it, it was pretty, res there it goes, there's a lag. The first time I tested it, it was pretty laggy, but it seems to be handling its own. So let's talk about the notification shade next. So you swipe down, and you swipe to get your date and time, this is your date and time hub. Swipe up, scroll left, right, got your battery, you have network, you have sound, and you have messaging. Now this is a pretty great messaging hub. It integrates all your messages. These are demo messages because this is a developer release and you can swipe them away. Swipe them away. Or you can reply to them or just clear them all out. Then bam, we have no more messages. So yeah, that's basically your notification panel. And yeah, so remember, swipe, swipe, swipe. And then, if you want to get your browser stuff going, swipe, damn it, not all the way up. You can pull this back down. There you go. If you swipe up from there, there you go. You got your browser. Browser, you got your back button, forward button, and refresh button, and uh, URL bar. Swipe down and put it up. Now, I want to show you the keyboard. That's your keyboard. It isn't all that fancy. Doesn't have haptic feedback, but this is just a developer preview. It's really not meant to have a lot of functionality. You can just swipe down to get rid of all that. And then swipe all the way over to go home. And then there you go. I just added three recent apps. So this is basically, yeah, this is it. This is really all there is to it right now, at least. And then you have this little carousel. Carousel. Um, I believe the camera works. Let's check. See if the camera takes a picture. And what do you know? It took a picture. And you can focus. Hmm. It's pretty nice. Um, I don't think video camera works. It doesn't work on any other build. So I think you're just going to be crap out of luck with that for now. But, yeah, and then this is, I'm going to show you your lock screen real fast. This is your lock screen. It basically tells you, tells me I have 14 tweets received. It's, it's, that's just demo. I don't have Twitter or anything, but it's completely demo, and these aren't your social aggregations. These are just demo ones. And, but it would tell you your notifications in the middle there. And, yeah, you can swipe from the left edge to unlock. And then there you go. You're back home. So, anyway, guys, this is my quick look at Ubuntu Phone OS. Once they get a working port for the Motorola Zoom, I'll actually do a video on the Zoom one. Because I know someone posted a port for it on Ubuntu's website. Uh, the touch website and then devices you can find who's submitted um, images for what and 
yeah, I'll be checking that out soon. So anyway, guys, thank you. Bye.